One of the interesting stories I like to tell people is about how somebody interviewed, I think it was uh, Dick Kramlick and Don Valentine and Bill Draper and asked each of them, what's the secret to your investing? And Don Valentine said, it's the market. Bill Draper said, it's the product and technology. And Dick Kramlick said, it's the people. And so those are the three general categories. And I think we just heard your advice. It, what do you guys think? People, market, technology, and product. What's your preference? Obviously, all three. Is can, best. can I actually derail your your yeah. your because because it's, it's, it's a really important thing. I mean, it's it's absolutely the right statement. But I think the question, you know, we were talking about the people part, which is where I always start and end. And I think the um, you know for sure, any, any venture firm, any investor, frankly, any you know anyone hiring is looking for someone with a record of sustained accomplishment. Right? I mean, that, that, that's unequivocally true. But I think the venture industry is really bimodal in terms of the types of people that they're looking for. And, the, um, and I think it's important to sort of figure out what, um, you know, what kind of investor you're talking to. Uh, you know, I, I sat on a panel like this at one point and, um, you know, a person from one of the, um, I'll call it one of the big ego firms. Uh, was asked. No names. Uh, the, uh, that wasn't there. <laughs> exactly. No. I, you know. Uh, you know what? What he he looks for, and uh, he said passion and storytelling. And I thought, oh my God, what bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's not at all what I look for, right? I mean, I, you know, he was very, actually very, you know, so you know, very dis, uh, descriptive of what he and 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 first round look for. You know, I. So, you know, that unique insight and where it comes from, you know, for me, I'm, you know, we're building the business. So the question is, how do you think, you know, what do you know, what do you not know? How are you thinking through it? How are you constructing cost effective and rapid experiments to learn about, uh, you know, what your users need or how you're going to go to market? Uh, you know, what are your long term motivations? What's your ability to surround yourself with? Uh, people that complement your own skills. What's the self-awareness that, um, that that you have about your own weaknesses that you're going to go in and fill? And frankly, my view is that the people at the traditional big ego firms look for people who think they don't have any weaknesses and just want to march. And you you, you got to know who you're talking to if you're if you're selling. Yeah, that's right. One one of my favorite questions to ask people is what are they afraid of? And the wrong answer is nothing. <laughs> Yeah, everything is also the wrong answer. <laughs> David, it looks like you were about to say something. Oh, no, I, I just, uh, we're not a big EU firm, but um, <laughs> I, uh, I, I lead with people because I feel like it's sort of a sailing analogy, which is you know where you're going, but there's going to be a lot of tacking on the way up wind. And the great, uh, whether on your bimodal, Greg, what you were describing, Distribution, it's people who uh, maybe they're not afraid of everything, but they're afraid of a lot of things and they sort of just figure it out. And I think if I think of my own background and experience, it's founder CEOs of big winners um, so versus somebody who you bring in as a hired gun. And I think that's because they'll just walk through walls to figure it out. And, and so that's been my personal experience. I don't know that resonates with you, but. Uh, you know. No, I think, I think that's right. I think. Um, the, the people thing versus markets, the, the other reason I think you focus on people uh, is it's easy to look back and be like, oh, it was a huge market, and so of course you, know, you want to invest in companies in healthcare and education and these huge spaces. Uh, but the reality is I think, um, you know, I don't agree with everything he says, but Peter Thiel's right about monopolies and, and very early small markets that you can dominate uh, tend to lead to much bigger outcomes. And, and so I think that when you start talking to someone and they have this huge vision, I think that's great, uh, and and it sort of fits, you know, what might happen. But I think the the bridge in between today's reality and that, and kind of what are your first steps, are oftentimes uh, dominating small markets in in our biggest success cases.